new blessings comes with new revelation. God wants me to hold you by your hands tonight and walk you into a new level. Amen. And you have to start walking by a new revelation of the God you know. That I may know him. Oh, my God. That I may know him. Let's go to Philippians 3 verse 10. Oh, my God. Listen, I'm going to be weak and brief, but I want you to catch something tonight. Go yeah, into the water and preach the gospel to all creation. If you don't know who to preach to, preach to your television. Preach to your bits. Preach to anybody you see. The time is coming. The time is coming. The time is coming. When you will not be strong the way you are now to preach the gospel. Do not give excuses for God. Do not say to God, oh, my children. Oh, my job. I have to finish up with my job before I can preach the gospel and do the work. I have to get done with my children. Let me, let me just play a little, play a little, have some fun time, fun time with my children before I can give God his time. Oh, my husband, oh, my wife, listen, do not let family, marriage, business, money stop you from preaching the gospel. If you really know this God, nothing should stop you from professing his name to the whole world. You have to know this God, that I may know him. My word tonight is short and simple. My word tonight. And I know this is what the devil was fighting. <laughs> he didn't want me to come like, but look at me, the video is out. Did, did, did he stop this one? No. no. For them that know their God shall do exploit. Are you doing exploit in your ministry? If you are not doing exploit in your ministry, that means you have to know him. Leave the level of what you were told about this God. You need to, you need to transfer from the level of what you were told about this God into the level of what I know. What has God told you? What has God told you? What has God told you about your ministry? What has God told you about your children? What has God told you about your marriage? Some of you are praying for life partner, but you've not even asked God what your marriage should look like. Some of you are praying, Lord, give me a husband. Give me a wife. Oh Lord, I need a life partner. Oh, I'm so lonely. Ooh. Listen, that husband will not come. That wife will not come until you come to know him hey. and the power of his resurrection. Let's go to the scripture. I, I, I need to read this. Philippians 3 verse 10. Let's read together. Come on now. Let's read. Now I have given up everything. I am. Oh my God, this is one scripture. When I read it, I I begin to cry. This is one scripture. Whenever this is one scripture. Whenever I read this scripture, oh, I, I cry. Oh my God, that I have given up everything. So that I may know him. Show me a man that know the Lord, and I will show you a man that have given up everything. Hey! Show me a woman that know the Lord, a woman that fear the Lord with all her heart, and I will show you that woman that have given up family, given up marriage. Giving up children, giving up the world, giving up friends, just to know this God. Hi. Do you 
you know him? Or do you just need a miracle from him? But you don't know him. You want a sound of miracle. Do you know him? God is not a herbalist. Don't come collecting miracle from a God you don't even know. Don't come collecting miracle from a God you don't have a relationship with. What do you know about God? What revelation can you hold? Hold strong. Oh, no matter the persecution, he said, this is what I know about this God. He will not fail me. He will not forsake me. Hey! What will strengthen you on the tough days of life? When the wind of life shall blow, what is that thing you know about God that can keep you strong?